Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video that's going to help you find the surface area of a cylinder, pyramid, and a triangular prism, and also the volume of a cylinder or of a triangle, triangular prism. So when I find the volume of a prism, either a triangular or rectangular prism, or a cylinder, the formula I'm going to use is the area of the base times the height. And I'm going to use the big B because what I'm really trying to find is the area of the base. So the number of squares in the base, and then I multiply that by the height. On a cylinder, like the one in the picture I have here, uh, the base is a circle. So the formula is going to really be pi times radius squared times the height. So in this particular problem, if I'm doing that, what I'll do is I'll, this is the formula right there. After I write the formula down, what I need to do is substitute the radius and the height in for R and H. In this particular problem, my radius is 5 and my height is 2. So when I substitute, it's going to be pi times 5 squared times 2. Then what I'm going to do, it's just like an order of operation problem now. I do the exponents first, and what that's going to become is pi times 25 times 2. Well, 2 times 25, I can multiply those in any order. That's going to be the same thing as 50 pi. And I could leave the answer like this, because this is an exact answer. Or else I can multiply 50 times 3.14 to get an approximation. And I'm going to leave the, I'm going to do it both ways for this one. So what I'm going to do first is write this as meters. And when I'm talking about volume, it's how many cubes will fit inside of it. So it's going to be 50 pi meters cubed, or I can write that as take 50 times 3.14 and I get 157 meters cubed. So I can use either of those answers and either of those answers are correct. Actually, even though it doesn't look like a real number, the 50 pi meters cubed is an exact answer and in this case uh, is an exact number and the approximation for that is 157 meters cubed. Now when I find the surface area of that same cylinder, I have another formula. Now surface area is going to be the area that I would take to cover that up. If I wanted to cover that up or wrap that cylinder up, it would be the number of square meters in this case it would take to cover that whole cylinder up. So if you notice that cylinder, there's a circle on the top and the bottom. And the area to cover up one of those circles is pi r squared. And since I have two circles, I have two pi r squareds. And then I have to add the lateral area. And the lateral areas would be like in a soup can, the area of the label that would take to cover the sides of it. And the formula I use for that is going to be the circumference times the height. Because the distance around the circle is going to be if I cut that can up and made it into a rectangle, uh, my, one, my one dimension would be the circumference, and the other would be times the height. Now, since I'm using r instead of d, my circumference is really 2 times radius times height. So that's the formula I'm going to use. Oh, 2 pi r h. So I need the pi in there also. Okay? Now I can substitute in the values. And I, in place of r, I'm going to put 5. And in place of h, I'm going to use 2, because that's my height and my radius of this picture. So it's going to be 2 pi, and then it's going to be 5 squared, plus 2 times 5 times 2 times pi. OK, now I can simplify it. I can take 5 squared, and that's 25. So it's really going to be 2 times pi times 25 plus 2 times 5 times 2 is this going to be 2 times 5 is 10 times 2 is 20 pi and if I multiply it again the first one 2 times 25 is 50 so I have 50 pi plus 20 pi so I'm going to have a total of 70 pi and if I want to leave my leave it in terms of pi it's going to be 70 pi meters squared. Now if I want to get uh, an approximation of what that really is, I could take 70 times 3.14, because 3.14 is an approximation of pi. If I take 70 times 3.14, I'm 
I ended up, end up getting 219.8 meters squared. Now, since it's how many squares it takes to cover a cylinder, I use, whenever I talk about surface area, I use square units, or my units squared. And that is how I find the surface area and volume of a cylinder. Next, we're going to look at finding the surface area of a pyramid. So when I find the surface area of a pyramid, if I look at the surface area, it's how many squares it's going to take to cover up my whole pyramid. And if I look at that carefully, I'm just going to do surface area for that. What's that pyramid made up? What are the sides made up? Well, on the bottom, it's a square. So I have one square. And then up from each edge of the square, I have a triangle that meets in the top middle. So I have plus four triangles. Okay, so now the area of the square is just going to be 16 times 16 because it's a 16 by 16 square. So that's going to be 16 times 16 plus the four triangles are all the same. The base of that triangle, the length of the base of the triangle is 16 and the height is going to be 10. And so the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So what it's going to be is 16 times 10 divided by 2. Okay, so if I do 16 squared, 16 times 16 is equal to 256 plus 4. And if I take 16 times 10, that's 160 divided by 2. Well, I have 256 plus 4 times 160 divided by 2 is 80. And if I finish that off, I have 256 plus 80 times 4 is 320. And then if I add that up, I'm going to have 576 inches squared. So it would take 576 square inches to cover up that pyramid. Oops, you can't quite see the, all the work there. There you go. You can only see the other side of that. So there's my work. I have one square plus four triangles. The area of the square is just going to be 16 times 16. The triangles are going to be 4 times 10 times 16 divided by 2. And then I did 10 times 16, which is 160 divided by 2, which is the same as 80. So I have 4 times 80, which is 320. If I add that to 256, I get 576 inches squared. And that's how I'm going to find the, that's how I'm going to find the surface area of a pyramid. I have one last shape to work on, and this shape is going to be a triangular prism. And there's my triangular prism right there. There's two formulas for this. On a triangular prism, there is, the base on this is going to be a triangular, triangle, and that's why they call it a triangular prism. So my triangle has a, has a height of 3 and a, a base of 4. So if I'm trying to find the surface area for that, and that's what we're going to go for, with first. The surface area, I have two triangles, plus I have one, two, three rectangles. So I have a rectangle here that they are on the bottom and on the back. So I have three rectangles. Okay, so the triangles, the two triangles, are going to have a base of four and a height of three have to divide that by 2, plus my three rectangles. Now my rectangles are all different, all different sizes. They all have one of my dimensions is going to be 7. But the one that's on top here, if I look, has a, has a height of 5. So one of my triangles is going to be 7 times 5. Plus the one on the bottom is going to be 7 times 4. Plus the one on the back is going to be 7 times 3. Now if I add all that up together or multiply that out, I have two triangles, which are going to be 12 divided by 2, plus 7 times 5 is 35, plus 7 times 4 is 28, plus 7 times 3 is 21. Well, two divided, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and then if I multiply that by 2, it's just going to be 12 plus 35 
plus 28 plus 21. If I add 12 and 28, that's 40. 40 and 35 is 75. 75 and 21. And I'm going to have a surface area of 96. And it's going to be how many squares it takes to cover. And since my units are inches, it's going to be 96 inches squared. So that's how I find the surface area of that shape. But I also need to have, find the volume of that shape. Now when I do volume, it's always going to be, the formula for volume is always going to be B base times height. And now when I talk about base in this, pic, in this particular problem, I'm talking about the big base. Not the length of this line, but the area of that triangle, because the shape is going to be a triangle. So I need to find the area of that triangle, or the area of the base, and I have the big B stands for that base. So if I figure that out, my base, my big B, is going to be 4 times 3 divided by 2, because that's the area of a triangle, and then times my height, and the height's going to be there. That 7 is going to be my height, because that's the length that connects the two triangles. So it's going to be times 7. Okay, so if I'm solving this, 12 times, or 4 times 3 is 12, so I have 12 divided by 2 times 7. 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 7, and 6 times 7 is going to be 42, and since my units are in inches, it's going to be 42 inches cubed. So I want to find out how many cubes fit inside of that shape, that triangular prism, because that's what the definition of volume is. How many cubes fit inside something? So there you have it. That is how you find the surface area of cylinders, pyramids, and triangular prisms, and also the volume of cylinders and triangular prisms.